Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Berry X. Today we are reacting to season one, episode four of the originals entitled Girl in New Orleans. Keeping up with the originals? It's like keeping up with the Kardashians. Not really. They're, the, the originals are a lot cooler. So Klaus kind of being the master manipulator, master chess game, has things going in his order. We got the first glimpse of the garden in the last episode. And um, Marcel going to Elise, release, Elise, get rid of Elijah, release Elijah back to Klaus. But uh, old girl was like, I need to learn how to kill them first. So that's what we got going on. Anyways, if you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links in the description box down below for the Patreon the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And uh, listen, Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. And let's get into the episode. You know what would really help in this situation? Headphones. All right, let's watch. I'm pretty sure subtitles are on. I'll check in a second. Over the course of my life, Look at me. I've encountered no shortage of those who would presume to speak of good and evil. I mean, in a box. Such terms mean nothing. People do what is in their best interest, regardless of who gets hurt. Is it evil to take what one wants? She like examining the knife? To satisfy hunger, even if doing so will cause another suffering. What some would call evil. I believe to be an appropriate response to a harsh and unfair world. You got all that from a painting? I'm not sure I follow why you've invited me here. I want to help both of these women, protect one, and free the other. So, tell me, I like it. Kami, I like it. Does that sound evil to you? I don't believe in evil as a diagnosis. I think you have unstable personal relationships, stress-related paranoia, Chronic anger issues, fear of abandonment. I think you could benefit from talking to someone professionally. She just said, bitch, you need therapy. Clear cut and dry. Klaus. Imagine Klaus in therapy. Uh, five minutes in, he's probably eating the person. I think I prefer to talk to you. So I'm going to offer you a job. I As feel like you done compelled the shit out of her. Offer. Okay, what are we writing? My memoirs, of course. Someone should know my story. Did you? It's called Compulsion. It's a neat bit of vampire trickery. I'll tell you all about it. But first, let's talk a little more about Marcel. To what extent is she compelled, actually? That sucker's resilient. It's like a cockroach in a suit. Doesn't matter. Time to give old Elijah back to Klaus anyway. Did you know I can make someone's blood boil? That's neat. All I have to do is focus. She's about to do it to him right now. Let's do it sizzling. That's why he's sweating. Little sweat beads. What I like to think they did for that shot right there was they walked up to him with them like little mister bottles that you use for your not Mr. Bottles, an MR period bottle, like not a gender specific bottle, but like a Mr. M-I-S-T. You get what I'm saying? Uh, like you would spray like your flowers or garden stuff with, but more like you, you also get cats away from you and just spritzed him in the face a couple times. They kind of do that. Where else do they do that? They got those tss, tss. So barbershop salons will sometimes spray your hair with it. At the zoo, they have a giant mist fan you can walk under to kind of refresh yourself. That's what I like to imagine they did in that shot. They sprayed him up tss, tss, right in the side of the face. Anyways. <laughs> Fine. We compromise. All right? You're going out alone too dangerous. But I'll introduce you to a friend of mine that's going to be there. All right? Nice lady. You two are really going to hit it off. I bet. And no one else is around. I suddenly remember that you just told me you're a vampire and you're mind controlling me. And then you leave, and I go back to thinking you're just some hot guy with a cute accent and money to burn on your sprawling memoir. Well, that's how compulsion works, love. Yeah, but what's happening? Is it hypnosis? Are my neurons being shut down somehow? You're always the curious scholar. Let's talk about Marcel. You said... You 
So he has some sort of thing over her where when he's not around, she knows nothing. But when he is around, that's actually super intriguing. That's super intriguing. You have a little information for me. He's bringing someone to the music festival tonight, a girl he's mentoring. Apparently, she's going through a hard time, rebelling against authority, anger issues, that sort of thing. I guess with my psych degree, he figured I could set her straight, but I said no. I'm gonna go ahead and insist you change your answer to yes. You're gonna force me to do this, aren't you? Why even bother with politeness? Even though, like, she seems... Because I like you. Yeah, I was about to say, even though she seems like... I mean, she's compelled. But, like, she's also kind of, like, on board with it? Or is she, like, just that fucking compelled? I like the way your mind works. Oh. Hi, Haley. What am I gonna do? Pop into the quarter for a quick ultrasound. A pregnant werewolf escorted by a witch? Nothing to see here. A lot of women would kill to have a child. Strikes me as odd that you're not taking better care of yours. I know Rebecca, I good boy. Well, I took the liberty of making an appointment for you tonight after hours, just us. With the internet search, how does one begin anyway? Just type in anonymous attic. Someone has to find Elijah, <laughs> even if I have to search every bloody attic in New Orleans. It's like looking for a needle in a rather large pile of needles. I remember details about the attic Marcel took me to. I'm curious about what Marcel's relationship with Davina is. Because right now, all I know is he just has some little little girl trapped in a closet or in, a, in an attic. Hey, Diego. You just interrupted my man's feeding time or let her drop to the floor. It's kind of a bit right. rude. So, uh, any way to fast track the whole getting a daylight ring thing? Got that plain Jane that he carries on with. Finally, blind man would choose her over me. There must be another girl in his harem. In his harem. Look. I feel like I'd pick Rebecca. Cammy's sweet, but like if we got into some trouble, like Rebecca gonna fuck somebody up. I feel like she's a ride or die too, so. What's Cammy gonna do? Give him a psychanalysis? It's only this far out because Marcel's men kept terrorizing her patients. Go. She won't bite. Is she a werewolf? Is that why she won't bite? Or maybe she will bite? I got nothing for that one. Send them in now and tell them to do it quickly. Oh, why is there... Okay, there's a... There's a theme here so far. There's a, there's a theme. Twice now. First time, she's like, yeah, I just want to get a little bit of uh, abortion juice. And they were like, "All right, come on in." And they're like, "We got a werewolf in the in the in the quarry in the in the quarter." And now, old girl's like, "Hey, I just drove her all the way out here to this, to this abandoned warehouse. Snap her up real quick. Twice. Quit turning your back on Haley. Shit, knock or nothing, just walk in. I have so many questions." It's good to see you. Didn't know we were in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Thought we were in Nolens. I was worried he thought I was some hothead after that display of the masquerade. Since the night of the massacre. Nine seminary students were killed. What the fuck? Girl. You're standing on blood. I'm not squeamish. That's a lot of blood. Uh, second, something I've always been curious about is that you see a lot in shows and stuff of people like going to a church at like midnight, or like 1 a.m. They're just hanging out, like get their prayer on. And it's like, what church stays open that late? Have you ever been inside of it? Churches are terrifying, especially late at night with no lights on. That's definitely when murder happens. Just saying. They're scary. <laughs> Then got you a whole fucking needle deedle. 
Okay, big hit, boy. Yeah, oh, Uno reverse. Ah, ah. Yeah, block that shit. I don't think it's going to hold back that many people. Uh, yeah, I think it's got half a screw in it. God, no. I was about to say, little brother, just use the power of your Bieber swoop and knock that door in. I don't know why it took you so long. Y'all got to leave Haley alone, man. Anyway. No, it wasn't. Davina. Just forget it. Tell her this is from one of the musicians. She'll want to leave. And you're going to help her slip out the back exit so Marcel doesn't see. Whatever you do, don't let her out of your sight. Did nobody else see him fucking Wait, hand up and bounce back out? About to play a song from the Red Wedding. The Reigns of Castamere. Yet this had none of them. He didn't drink, he didn't do drugs. You're well informed on the matter. Give information? You knew him, didn't you? Mm. His name was Sean. Damn. Spelled S E A N. He's my brother. Scene. My twin, actually. I can't sleep. A twin? Were you in the Gemini you... Coven? You way older than 22. About what happened? And I hate it. I hate that I couldn't help him. We all must stand alone against our demons. What if someday his demons become mine too? I have some business I should attend to. But before I do, you should go enjoy the music. Put this out of your mind. God, dude, that's like... Man, she's like, what if the demons become my demons and you're just like, I gotta bounce. Actually, I don't have time for a little therapy session here. Are you here to help or are you just gonna drop in with criticism? <laughs> Never forget, Marcel, that you live in the city by the grace of those that know your secret and tolerate you. I doubt. And this city thrives God, doubt. because of me and my people. Listen. When Rebecca said, forget that I was here. And the way the dude looked when he walked past, it's like, all right, is little buddy actually, but even with the Vervain thing, I thought the, can't the originals just, they're originals. Can't they just overpower that shit? I feel like if you're an original, Vervain shouldn't be an issue. Then what of those you care about? If anyone tries to hurt anyone I care about, I'll kill them. Well then. You Sounds it. like you don't need Marcel at all. Perhaps you've suspected it all along. She trying to boil his blood. She's Marcel focusing. Marcel tricks you into doing his bidding. I thought he was about to snap Tim up. You rot in an attic. You feel that? That's your blood starting to boil. Told you she was trying to boil his blood. Such a shame to lose him just as you found him again. And I really did admire your skill with that violin. I think we all did. Don't you dare hurt him. Don't do it. Do, sweetheart. But then that depends on you. <laughs> they told her, make an angry face, and she went. <laughs> Let him go now. You should know I don't do well with demands. Damn, how about if we just snap your shit up real quick? Let me snap it right back into place. The boy lives. Stand against me. Ooh, Davina, you scary. Okay, little X-23. That's... I mean, that's not how you use a crossbow, but that seemed pretty efficient either way. Ooh, you got your little eyes lit up. Yeah. Oh, and... Please, don't hurt me. It wasn't my intent to. But sadly, I've run out of time to play nice.
And the violin too. All right, that was over. That was unnecessary. You didn't throw the violin. Tim. Oh no. Oh, oh no no no! You ran right past him. That boy fucking his spine I'm broke. Sorry, I'm so sorry. My back is I didn't broken. Spine. One of the. Tr All you have to do. <laughs> is ask. Yo, Marcel about to show up though. Marcel about to show up. Fuck. Please. For you, Tavina. With pleasure. Okay, Chick fil A. <laughs> hey, you spilled a little bit. Time. Wow, you abandoned your quest for power to help out your family. Having an off day? Who took her, Rebecca? I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? And who killed her attackers? I don't know. I had an arrow in my heart. If it wasn't Haley who killed them, then... Lovely. Perhaps her cousins will know where she is. <laughs> Haley, what happened? Tell me what happened. I can't remember. You've completely healed. There's not a scratch on you. One of the perks of being a werewolf, remember? No, not that fast. Leave her alone. Did she? It's the baby. The vampire blood. Klaus's blood in your system it can heal any wound. What? Your own child healed you. Yo. How did you escape? Yo, you <laughs> did you see how happy he was with that? He's like a that's like a proud father so smirk. Look at this. Any wound. That is nutty. Your own child healed you. Look, watch. How did you See this little smirk right here? Escape. You were something to distract you from what you really want, which Comfort after all food. these years is impossible to deny because mm. I'm standing right in front of you. Ooh, Rebecca. Ah, oh, made his mouth open too. Look at him. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> little curve season. Rebecca. When he, every time he acts and he gets like that misty eye right there. No, don't compel me to forget this. And if I allow you to remember, the knowledge will eat away at you. Power aside, I am trying to honor my brother. What about my brother? Ooh. Uh, my twin brother. Yeah, hashtag we Gemini. Our whole lives. Don't take this away from me. <laughs> You will do nothing. Your brother was ill. He killed those people and himself. With tears in and his it eyes. Was a tragedy. With All you can do is move on. With tears in his eyes, just made her forget about her twin brother. Cammy. I will make sure whoever harmed your brother. Okay. I'll suffer. Okay. Okay. And as for you, tonight you will sleep, and you will dream of a world far better than this one. A world where there is no evil, no demons, and all people desire. With tears down her face. Oh my god. This man, this man really just made her forget about her fucking brother, but also swore vengeance. <laughs> Guess who's awake, baby? It's all right, Davina. <laughs> my man was already out the box. I don't mean you any harm. My man, my man's still healing. Try and call for a truce. Try and call for a truce. Or maybe snap her up. I don't like my camera being on this side because it makes me look yellow. I look like I have jaundice. But when I bring that motherfucker over here. There we go. Alright, anyways. 
that's better. So, um, Klaus is pulling out his, he's, he's setting his chessboard. He's manipulating all these people around Marcel to try to, uh, to try to manipulate everybody and try to better his, uh, his situation. So first thing, our first encounter with, uh, Davina, where she's just super OP, super overpowered, and he's going to use little buddy as a negotiating tool with Tim bargaining chip. Like you mentioned, no longer playing nice. I can heal you, but now you owe me a favor. <laughs> Meanwhile, they kept Marcel busy the entire episode. Rebecca's like, yo, I'm here if you want me. And he was like, and then fucking went away. So Davina, Tim may come back into play at some point. Maybe not. Cammy is still the ultimate bargaining chip over Marcel at this very moment. Klaus erasing her memories and swearing to bring her vengeance is wild, bro. That is so fucking sad. He just took away her brother. The whole reason that she's there from her memories. Nutty. Absolutely nutty. Um, so, I guess from this point, we'll see Klaus, again, still kind of build his, his chessboard. Still kind of play his game. Now he's even, I mean, helping Cammy go to sleep is nice. We got to see the conversation between Elijah and Davina and also Marcel and Davina whenever he gets back because, like, she told him, like, I live here, remember? Like, this is just where I live. Also, um, Kieran is on Vervain, which was kind of expected. Uh, I wonder who else is on I just thought originals could over... I know they can overpower other vampires. I thought Vervain wasn't an issue for them, though. I guess we'll find out. The big thing is keeping Haley safe. Haley as a baby, the baby healed her from the inside. That'd be nice to have on deck. Imagine you're just, imagine you're just walking and you trip and fall. Ah, break your arm into 14 places and you're pregnant and the baby inside of you is just like doop, 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 and just fixes you back up. That'd be cool. Anyways, I enjoyed the episode. There's still, the episode so far, there's slow burns. Slow burns to start, which is good. Because we're building a story and we're building an exposition. If you remember season one, episode one of WandaVision, uh, Kitty from that 70s show said, they're telling a story. Be patient, right? So I'm on board because it's super intriguing, but I'm going to go ahead and head out for this episode. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.